Americans will be celebrating Labor Day this coming Monday. We are checking in with Andy Challenger of Challenger Gray and Christmas. Andy, what can you tell us about the latest state of the labor market? Well, when we look at the most recent JOLTS report, we do see uh, again this month fewer job openings as compared to last month. It's in line with this overall trend of cooling that we're seeing in the labor market. Uh, but when we look at it more broadly, we see 3.5% unemployment still near historic lows and an indication that the labor market remains really strong for at least some portion of Americans. Uh, where we have tracked the most job cuts over the last six to nine months are in areas like tech, infrastructure, in real estate, and in finance, uh, mostly white collar roles that are being affected. It is leading some pundits on the economy to call this period of time a rich session. Those uh, most seriously affected happen to be the most highly earning parts of the economy. And finally, unions have been very active this year. Is the American worker making gains with better pay and job security? Yeah, we have seen an increase in labor unionization activity over the last few years. Uh, not surprising that that's happening at a time when the country has been in the most serious labor shortages that it's seen in many decades. It's a time when the balance of power has shifted heavily towards employees. They have a much stronger negotiating position at the table when the labor market is this tight. Uh, it remains historically tight at a 3.5% unemployment rate and would expect to continue to see labor unions organize and continue Continue to push employers to the negotiating table when the markets are strongly in their favor. Well, thanks so much for being on the job on our show, Andy. Thanks for having me on, Angie. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.